couple of weeks ago, I made a video outlining the five things that I hate about my bus. We're gonna give you the worst. So this week, we're talking about the five things that I love about my bus. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are either looking into a bus or a van, already converting a bus or a van, or live in a bus or a van. And if you're in those beginning stages, you can use these videos, I guess, as a little bit of a guide so you can do some of the same things that I do, take it or leave it. But these are the five things that I love about my bus, not in any particular order. I'm gonna start off with the first one, which is the size of this bus. Size comes down to a few different factors with the bus. This is a short bus, so it has the van front, so it's a cutaway style, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, windows so there's six windows that's kind of how you can tell the size of a bus when you're purchasing i was looking at five or six window buses and depending on the style they were about the same length this bus is about 23 to 24 feet from bumper to bumper and is 15 feet from the back of the driver's seat to the back door it gives you about 120 square feet because it's about eight feet wide seven and a half after the walls and everything are built but it's eight feet wide but when it came to the size of the bus i think the number one factor that i personally was looking for was the ceiling so buses come in a multitude of different heights from floor to ceiling this bus was six four in the center of the bus from the floor to the ceiling with the original floor and ceiling in here now it's probably i don't know i probably added a couple of extra inches so it's probably about 6162 it gives me a couple extra inches i'm 511 six foot i think i spent months just trying to find a bus that was this length that also had the 64 ceiling because i knew i was going to take a few inches away putting in the floor and putting in the ceiling so i needed to make sure that i could stand up straight in the middle of my bus because if i had to crouch like this with a 510 ceiling uh it just would not be a happy living in here at all. Originally, when you first look into living this kind of lifestyle, a tiny home lifestyle, I think you're kind of like, oh my God, I'm gonna give up so much space to live in this. I need something at least a decent size. I think this is a really good middle ground, um, but I think after living in it for a while, you start to realize like, hey, actually, I could go even smaller. So if I changed anything about the size, I think I'd actually go a little bit smaller. <sighs> Weird. It's been a while since I've sat in this seat. Feels strange. Went all the way to Florida and back in this seat and I haven't sat in this seat now for like a month and a half. It's pretty weird uh, not being in this seat. But the second thing that I love about my bus doesn't actually have anything to do with the space, but it has something to do with the motor. The motor is definitely the second thing that I love about this bus. So in this bus, I have a 6.6 Duramax diesel motor, and I am very pleasantly surprised how well this motor works for the amount of weight in here. It's, it's very impressive, I can't lie, it's very, very impressive. Being a Chevrolet GMC motor, uh, first of all, parts are not very expensive, they're also not very hard to come by, you can find people that can work on it pretty easily. It's one of the big things that when you look into buying a bus, you've really got to pay attention to. You got to pay attention to what kind of motor and what kind of transmission are in your bus. Otherwise, you might get completely screwed over. And I don't want to see any of you out there getting screwed over. But one of the big things that I personally like, especially in the economy that we're in right now, where diesel prices here at home are like $6.30 a gallon, is the gas mileage. Uh, on our Florida trip, we averaged somewhere around 15 miles per gallon. 14 and a half miles per gallon. I mean, <laughs> can you really get much better than that? I don't think so. We're already at number three. It's easy to talk about the things that I love about this bus, that's for sure. The third thing that I love about my bus is the layout and the design of the bus. I've caught some flack in the comments for some of my design elements, some of my layout elements but I personally really love it and I'm the one who lives in it. I think one of the biggest things that I caught flack in the comments for, which is honestly just mind blowing to me because I, I it's like my favorite element of the bus, are these divider walls, man. People were hating on me for these divider walls, which to me is crazy because I think it's perfect. It breaks up the bedroom into the rest of the space, but also leaves it open concept so it doesn't feel claustrophobic in the bedroom and it keeps everything light and airy. I was going for like a classy beach hut vibe and I think I kind of nailed that vibe with 
the colors and the cane webbing and the design but yeah these walls people were ripping on me in the comments for these walls and I just didn't listen and I'm glad I didn't listen because I love them they break up the space really nicely also allowed for all of my electronics to be in this wall more electronics to be in this wall and it allowed for a place to have my heater vent and air intake overall I would not change that at all otherwise I love the way this wall turned out I love the way the interior of the bathroom ended up and uh, I love the way everything looks in here I mean this is my dream home honestly I mean on a very small scale is my dream home the cane webbing the way that these turned out these are fully custom built you guys can go back and watch those videos everything is 100% custom not a single thing in here was prefab I personally love the layout I wouldn't change it for the world number four the fourth thing that I love about my bus has to be the amenities in here. I didn't want to give up too much of a normal living space just because now I'm in a bus. I wanted to have as much as possible, make it feel as comfortable as possible while also having the ability to go anywhere I want to go. I made sure I had a stove and an oven. I have a fully functional sink with running water, a fully functional fridge with a small freezer up top. It really fits everything that you could possibly need. I have a heater that works. You guys know. It works 100% of the time, but it takes forever to get it going sometimes. So, I do have a heater, which I am very, very, very grateful for. It's been cold in here. Not now, but while we were in isolation, we used the heater every night. All of the outlets you could possibly need. I have one back there. I have a 12 volt here. I have another outlet here, another outlet here with another 12 volt there. So I have all of the electrical necessities you could possibly need with 600 amp hours of battery. So that lasts quite a while as well. And of course, to top all of the amenities off, I have the full bathroom, a full bathroom. Sure, it's cramped. Sure, it's a wet bath. So it does get annoying if you shower and then have to use the bathroom. But I do have the full bathroom. I have a shower. I have a toilet. So really everything that you could possibly need, pretty much everything that is in a normal house is right here packed into 120 square feet. So the amenities are definitely the fourth thing that I love about this bus. And finally, number five, this is probably the most cliche thing to love about a bus or say in one of these types of videos, but this truly is like the top thing, which granted you guys haven't seen me do a whole lot of yet, but I promise it's coming up. We're just waiting on uh, the wedding at the end of the month. As you guys know, if you watch the Florida series, well, Leah's best friend Sam is getting married at the end of May and Leah is taking on a lot of the maid of honor details. After that, we will be finally getting on the road a little bit more, but the number five thing that I love about this bus is that it's a house on wheels and you can take it literally, and it will not literally anywhere you can take it, like in the water or to a different country unless it's Canada or Mexico. But you get the point. You can take this thing pretty much anywhere you want. It's a house on wheels. You can sleep wherever, well not where, again, not wherever you want, but <laughs> you guys get the point. You get the point. You can take this house pretty much anywhere that you possibly want to go. Right now, obviously, it's a little expensive because of those diesel prices. But besides that, it's a viable way to get around and live and work wherever you please. It's probably the top thing, and it's the whole reason why I even built a bus in the first place, was so I could travel and also live at the same time. So, number five, a house on wheels. Found great comfort of sitting on the floor in here. It's very nice. The past few weeks, I know it's been a uh, mumbo jumbo, trying to figure out one content to make since we're not traveling. And two, Leah and I had COVID, so we uh, were kind of sick for a little while. As you can probably tell in this video, uh, I'm feeling a whole lot better. I think Leah is about in the same boat. She has a bit of a cough, but otherwise she's feeling really good. Thank you guys so much for your support last week when uh, I made the video about our isolation. We're making videos again. So that means this upcoming week, the videos will be back on track. I will be posting another video in a few days to get everything back on track. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching and uh, 
yeah, I guess without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.